Hi, welcome back to the channel, The Caravan and Us. Uh, we've just back from a weekend away. Well, it was dryish weekend apart from Sunday, which it just rained all day. Uh, drove back yesterday. Uh, we're up in the North York Moors at Golden Square Caravan Park. Fantastic site. If you ever get a chance to be up in that area, which is Oswald Kirk near Helmsley in North Yorkshire, well worth a visit, fantastic site, facilities are outstanding. Uh, the drive there is very picturesque, however very muddy. Uh, the caravan's in a right state. Uh, one of the things, or the main thing, that I wanted to talk to you about today uh, was the Duvalet um, sleeping bag stroke mattress stroke single quilt, whichever. Now a while ago um, I noticed that the quilt slid down within its cover uh, now I did think originally that it was the Duvalet uh, quilt that was at fault uh, so I got another one, uh, another quilt, not a Duvalet one um, but it's just a standard single quilt which fits identically, it's absolutely fine but that was the same, it slides down within the cover I will show you what I mean by that um, and I'll show you our fix for it but I would be very interested to know if anybody else has had the same problem and if you have and you're sick and tired of uh, taking the quill out of the cover and putting it back in back up to the top and so on and so forth this could be a good fix so I haven't I haven't laid it out fully um, but you will be able to see what I mean by it uh, that's as it is um, and that's the uh, the duvalet that now the the quilt itself is in this cover and what used to happen after a couple of times of use the quilt inside used to end up sort of like down here ruffled up with inside the cover itself uh, all you do is just unzip it pull it back up and zip it back up and and everything's okay for a couple of nights sleep and then it just ruffles back down on itself so that's the the cover unzipped and as you can see the quilt is up where it should be um, which is right up to the top edge of the quilt cover itself it used to ruffle itself down probably a foot to 18 inches or so down here and you just end up with with just loose cover at the top um, which is a bit annoying um, but our fix is we've, well not we, it's the royal we is that because it was my wife that did it and came up with the idea so thank you Diana um, she mentioned that you could get some popper tape uh, and if you stitch one side of the popper tape to the quilt cover at the top and the other side of the popper tape to the uh, to the quilt itself and then popper tape it back up I don't know if that's the right terminology, um, but it would stop it coming down. And that's it. As you can see, it's just stitched some popper tape. Uh, that's to the actual quilt cover, and then the other side is to the uh, to the quilt itself. Um, and all you do is you just put the poppers together. And that's it, problem solved. I've used this now uh, probably around about 10 nights um, and it's absolutely fantastic. Problem just completely solved, uh, which, is, which is good. So I hope this has been of help to somebody and if you've got the problem just get that. The popper tape, literally for, I think I got, I think I ended up getting 4 metres of it to be quite honest. Uh, so that's 4 metres of each side. Um, and we've used, I don't know, just over a, well, whatever a single quilt is but it, it was about £4.50 and it's, it's very straightforward there are several types that you can get, I got one uh, I don't know if you can see that, with a, a, a popper probably every inch and a quarter or so, you can get them where they're in groups, you might have three close together then a bit of a gap, three close together or two close together and a bit of a gap but I went for one which was uniform right across and it's certainly done the job. So that was just a quick video on our fix for the Duvalet sleeping mattress sleeping bag 
whatever your topper you want to call it uh, but that's our fix for it and it's worked a treat for four pounds fifty absolutely well worth it especially i think it was 109 pounds was the duvalet itself which to be quite honest i think is quite expensive uh for what you're getting uh, especially when it doesn't really function 100 percent and i don't mind paying the money but i expect it to work so i hope that was of help to somebody uh just one person that'll do me i hope you found it interesting thank you very much indeed for watching and see you in the next video mm -hmm.